Dear friends, this video is about an overview of interfaces used in the LTE. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Friends here let's have a look on long term evolution. LTE is the evolution of the Universal Mobile Telecommunication System UMTS. System Architecture Evolution SAE, comprises of three components. First one is user equipment, UE. Second is evolved, UMTS terrestrial radio access network, E, UTRAN. And the third one is evolved packet core, EPC. Together LTE and SAE comprises evolved packet system EPS. EPS provides the user with IP connectivity to a packet data network, PEDN for accessing the internet as well as for running services like voice over IP, VOIP. EPS uses the concept of EPS bearers to route IP traffic from a gateway in the packet data network to the user equipment. A bearer is an IP packet flow with a defined quality of service, QoS, between the gateway and the user equipment. Friends here let's have a look on UU interface. The UU interface is the radio interface between the mobile and the E node B, radio access network. UU interface protocol configuration in U, plane. First is IP, internet protocol layer is used to transport network packets from the originating host across network boundaries. Second is PDCP. Packet Data Convergence Protocol provides its services to the RRC and user plane upper layers include ciphering, integrity protection, header compression. Third is RLC Radio Link Control is a layer 2 protocol responsible for transfer of upper layer protocol data units, PDU, in three modes, acknowledged mode, unacknowledged mode, and transparent mode. It provides retransmission controls, duplicate detection and reordering. Fourth is MAC, medium access control layer provides the radio resource allocation service and the data transfer service to the upper layer. Fifth is PHY, physical layer is a highly efficient means of conveying both data and control information between an E node B and UE, modulation radio frequency carriers and modulating encoded data. UU Interface Protocol Configuration in C, Plane First is NAS, Non, Access Stratum is a functional layer in the UMTS and LTE wireless telecom protocol stacks between the core network and user equipment. Second is RRC, Radio Resource Control Messages are transported via PDCP protocol. Third is PDCP. Packet Data Convergence Protocol provides its services to the RRC and user plane upper layers include ciphering, integrity protection, header compression. Fourth is RLC, Radio Link Control is a Layer 2 protocol responsible for transfer of upper layer protocol data units, PDU, in three modes, acknowledged mode, unacknowledged mode, and transparent mode. It provides retransmission controls, duplicate detection and reordering. Fifth is MAC, medium access control layer provides the radio resource allocation service and the data transfer service to the upper layer. Sixth is PHY, physical layer is a highly efficient means of conveying both data and control information between an E node B and UE, modulation radio frequency carriers and modulating encoded data. Friends here let's have a look on X2 interface. The X2 interface is used to interconnect TNODBS. Mainly two types of information are exchanged over X2 interface. First one is loader interference related information. Second is handover related information. The key features of X2 handover for intra LTE handover during mobility are the handover is directly performed between two E node B's making preparation phase quick. Data forwarding may be operated per bearer in order to minimize data loss. 
The MME is only informed at the end of the handover procedure when the handover is successful, in order to trigger the path switch. The release of resources at the source site is directly triggered from the targeting node B. X2 Interface Protocol Configuration First is X2 AP, the X2 application protocol is used to handle the UE mobility with access network, EUTRAN, and provides the following functions, mobility management, load management, reporting or general error situations, resetting the X2, setting up the X2 and E node B configuration update. Second is SCTP, Stream Control Transmission Protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable and sequence transfer of data and provides multi-arming support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Third is IP, Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is MAC, Medium Access Control Layer provides the radio resource allocation service and the data transfer service to the upper layer. Fifth is Ethernet, Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on S1, MME, S1. C interface. S1, MME, S1, C interface is the reference point for control plane protocol between E node B and MME. S1, MME uses the S1 application protocol, S1 AP, over the stream control transmission protocol, SCTP, as the transport layer protocol for guaranteed delivery of signaling messages between MME and E node B. This is the interface used by the MME to communicate with E node Bs on same LTE public LAN mobile network, PLMN. This interface serves as path for establishing and maintaining subscriber UE contexts. The S1 MME interface supports IP version 4, IP version 6, IPsec and multi homing. Here have a look about S1 MME interface protocol configuration. First is application layer where S1 AP is used. The S1 application protocol provides transport function between UE and MME by offering NAS signaling. Second is transport layer where SCTP is used. Stream control transmission protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Third is network layer where IP version 4 slash IP version 6 is used dash. Internet protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is data link layer where ARP is used the address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically IP version 4 to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on S3 interface. S3 interface is used by the MME to communicate with S4, SGSNs on the same PLMN for interworking between GPRS slash UMTS and LTE network across technologies. This interface serves as the signaling path for establishing and maintaining subscriber user equipment contexts. The MME communicates with SGSNs on the PLMN using GPRS Tunneling Protocol GTP. The signaling or control aspects of this protocol is referred to as the GTP Control Plane GTPC.
while the encapsulated user data traffic is referred to as the GTP user plane GTPU. Here have a look about S3 interface protocol configuration. First is transport layer where UDP TCP is used, transmission control protocol TCP is a connection oriented protocol whereas user data protocol UDP is a datagram oriented protocol. Second is tunneling where IP version 4 slash IP version 6 slash GTP version 2 C GPRS tunneling protocol is an important IP slash UDP based protocol used in GSM, UMTS and LTE core networks. It is used to encapsulate user data when passing through core network and also carries bearer specific signaling traffic between various core network entities. Third is signaling layer where UDP, UDP, user datagram protocol, is used primarily for establishing low latency and loss tolerating connections between applications on the internet. Fourth is network layer where IP version 4 slash IP version 6, Internet protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet protocol suite. Fifth is data link layer where ARP is used, the address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically at 4 to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Sixth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on S6A interface. S6A interface is used by the MME to communicate with the home subscriber servers, HSS. The HSS is responsible for transfer of subscription and authentication data for authenticating, authorizing user access and user equipment context authentication. The MME communicates with the HSS on the PLMN using diameter protocol. Here have a look about a 6 interface protocol configuration. First is diameter. Diameter is a next generation industry standard message based protocol used to exchange authentication, authorization and accounting, AAA, information in long term evolution, LTE, and IP multimedia systems, IMS, networks. Second is transport layer whereas CTP or TCP is used. Stream Control Transmission Protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in sequence transfer of data and provides multi homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consist of more than one IP address. Third is Network Layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6 are used. Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is Data Link Layer where ARP is used. The Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on S11 interface. S11 interface provides communication between MME and serving, gateways, S, G, W, for information transfer. S11 interface uses the GTP version 2 protocol. Here have a look about S11 interface protocol configuration. First is transport layer where UDP, TCP is used, transmission control protocol. 
TCP, is a connection-oriented protocol whereas user data protocol, UDP, is a datagram-oriented protocol. Second is tunneling where IP version 4 or IP version 6, GTP version 2C, GPRS tunneling protocol is an important IP slash UDP based protocol used in GSM, UMTS and LTE core networks. It is used to encapsulate user data when passing through core network and also carries bearer specific signaling traffic between various core network entities. Third is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6 is used. Internet protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is data link layer where ARP is used. The address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically at 4 to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on S13 interface. S13 interface provides communications between MME and Equipment Identity Register, EIR. Here have a look about S13 interface protocol configuration. First is transport layer where SCTP or UDP, Stream Control Transmission Protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in-sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Second is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6, Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Third is data link layer where ARP is used, the Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically at 4 to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fourth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on SBC interface. SBC interface connects the MME to the cell broadcast center, CBC, to support the commercial mobile alert system, CMAS, to deliver public warning messages. A session border controller, SBC, is a dedicated hardware device or software application that governs the manner in which phone calls are initiated, conducted and terminated on a voice over internet protocol. VOIP network. Phone calls are referred to as sessions. Here have a look about SBC interface protocol configuration. First is application where SBC-AP is used. A warning message is delivered from the CBE to the E node B over the SBC application protocol and the S1AP protocols via the CBC and the MME on the network side. Second is transport layer where SCTP is used. Stream control transmission protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Third is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6. Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is Data Link Layer where ARP is used. The Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, 
is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on SGS interface. SGS interface connects the MSC server and the MME to support circuit switched fallback and SMS in an EPS scenario. Here have a look about SGS interface protocol configuration. First is application where SGS application protocol is used. SGS application protocol is designed to facilitate mobility management and paging procedures on the SGS interface as part of CSFB, circuit switched fallback, operation. Second is transport layer where SCTP is used, stream control transmission protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Third is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6 is used. Internet protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet protocol suite. Fourth is data link layer where ARP is used. The address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on SLG interface. SLG interface is used by the MME to communicate with the Gateway Mobile Location Center GMLC. This diameter based interface is used for locatine services LCS which enables the system to determine and report location, geographical position, information for the connected user equipments in support of variety of location services. Here have a look about SLG interface protocol configuration. First is transport layer where SCTP is used. Stream control transmission protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Second is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6 Internet protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet protocol suite. Third is data link layer where ARP is used. The address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically at 4 to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fourth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on SLS interface. SLS interface is used to convey LCS application protocol, LCS-AP, messages and parameters between the MME to the Evolved Serving Mobile Location Center, E, SMLC. Here have a look about SLS interface protocol configuration. 
First is application where LCS, application protocol is used, location services application protocol, LCS AP, the LCS AP message set is applicable to the SLS interface between the ESMLC and the MME. The LTE positioning protocols, LPP and LPPA, can be carried in LCS-AP messages which are transparent to the MME. Second is transport layer where SCTP is used, stream control transmission protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in-sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Third is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6, Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fifth is data link layer where ARP is used, the Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Sixth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on SV interface. SV interface connects the MME to a mobile switching center to support the exchange of messages during a handover procedure for the single radio voice call continuity SRVCC, feature. Here have a look about SV interface protocol configuration. First is transport layer where UDP or TCP is used, transmission control protocol TCP is a connection-oriented protocol whereas user data protocol, UDP, is a datagram-oriented protocol. Second is tunneling where IP version 4 or IP version 6, GTP, C, GPRS tunneling protocol is an important IP slash UDP based protocol used in GSM, UMTS and LTE core networks. It is used to encapsulate user data when passing through core network and also carries bearer-specific signaling traffic between various core network entities. Third is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6, Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is data link layer where ARP is used, the address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on S5 S8 interface. S5 slash S8 is the interface between the serving gateway and packet data network gateway. The S5, S8 interface will exist in two flavors one based on GNGTP, SGS on to GGSN, and the other will use the IETF specified proxy mobile IP, PMIP, for mobility control with additional mechanism to handle quality of service. The S5 interface is used between and serving gateway and packet data network gateway located within the same administrative domain, non-roaming. It is used for SGW relocation due to user equipment mobility and if the SGW needs to connect to a non-collocated PGW for the required PD and connectivity. Here have a look about S5 slash S8 interface protocol configuration. 
First is transport layer where UDP slash TCP is used. Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, is a connection-oriented protocol whereas User Data Protocol, UDP, is a datagram-oriented protocol. Second is tunneling where GTP version 2C or PMIP version 6 proxy mobile IP version 6, or PMIP version 6, or PMIP, is a network-based mobility management protocol standardized by IETF and is specified in RFC 5213. It is a protocol for building a common and access technology independent of mobile core networks, accommodating various access technologies such as WIMAX. 3GPP, 3GPP2 and WAN-based access architectures. Proxy Mobile IPv6 is the only network-based mobility management protocol standardized by IETF. Third is Network Layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6 Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is data link layer where ARP used the address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically at 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the ISA network and ISA link layer. Physical layer, Ethernet Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on SGI interface. SGI interface provides connectivity between the PGW and the packet data network. 3GPPTS 23.401. This interface can provide access to a variety of network types including an external public or private PDN and or an internal INS service provisioning network. Here have a look about SGI interface protocol configuration. First is transport layer where UDP TCP is used, transmission control protocol TCP is a connection-oriented protocol whereas User Data Protocol UDP, is a datagram-oriented protocol. Second is Network Layer whereas IP version 4, IP version 6, Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Third is Data Link Layer where ARP is used, the Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826, specifically at 4 to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by Data Link Protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI Link layer. Fourth is Physical Layer where Ethernet used. Ethernet is a local area network LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on GX Interface. GX Interface is a signaling interface which supports the transfer of policy control and charging rules information quality of service between the Policy and Charging Enforcement Function PCEF, on the Packet Data Network Gateway P, GW, and a Policy and Charging Rules Function PCRF, server 3GPPTS 23.401 Here have a look about GX Interface Protocol Configuration First is Transport Layer whereas CTP slash TCP is used Stream Control Transmission Protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable in-sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. 
Second is network layer where IP version 4 or IP version 6 is used. Internet protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Third is data link layer where ARP is used. The address resolution protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fourth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. Friends here let's have a look on Rx interface. IMS Rx interface is a 3GPP interface that runs between an application function and a policy charging and rules function PCRF in a 3GPP architecture. The protocol over the Rx interface is based on diameter. Here have a look about Rx interface protocol configuration. First is diameter. Diameter is a next-generation industry standard message-based protocol used to exchange authentication, authorization and accounting AAA, information in long-term evolution LTE, and IP multimedia systems IMS, networks. Second is transport layer where SCTP or TCP is used. Stream Control Transmission Protocol is a transport layer protocol which ensures reliable and sequence transfer of data and provides multi-homing support where one or both endpoints of a connection can consists of more than one IP address. Third is Network Layer where IP version 4, IP version 6, Internet Protocol is a communication protocol of digital message format and rules for exchanging messages between computers across a single or interconnected networks using Internet Protocol Suite. Fourth is Data Link Layer where ARP is used, the Address Resolution Protocol, ARP, is a protocol used by the Internet Protocol, IP, RFC 826 specifically IP version 4, to map IP network addresses to the hardware addresses used by a data link protocol. The protocol operates below the network layer as a part of the interface between the OSI network and OSI link layer. Fifth is physical layer where Ethernet is used. Ethernet is a local area network, LAN, set of protocols which serves the physical and data link layers. friends. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe the channel for more videos.